Hey, what's going on, you guys? JR5 back here again. It's been a while, so we got a lot to talk about. Um, a lot of the videos I filmed with Camaro did not make it through. I switched phones. I've been going through a couple jobs and a lot of life changes. A lot of these videos have been lost. There's been a lot of progress on this car. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and dive into that. There's gonna be a couple sections to this. You can go in the description. I'll put timestamps to everything. It's been a while. As you can see, the garage looks a little different. It's still messy, obviously. Um, you can't make greatness without a mess, you know? Like, if you look past all that, it's clean. This is fine. There's a couple other changes. Uh, I lost like 50 pounds. Do you think I got where I am today because I dress like Peter Pan here? Get about it. Let's go ahead and dive into this. Let's get to talking about what's been going on. What has happened to this car? This car has been sitting for a year now. Why? You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Um. A lot. If you want to do an LS swap, how much would it cost you? I've had a couple projects. One of them are outside right now. One of them we're working on. So we'll be having videos of one of them already. The other one we're going to be working on. This is a sweet, sweet car. I promise you guys are going to like it. It's very old. It's older than this. It needs a lot of work. It needs floor pans, trunk pans. It needs fenders, quarters. Whoa! This is worthless. What has been going on? With the Camaro, the LS swap. It's in. Has it started? No. Spent three grand on it. And it hasn't started yet? Yes. Have a transmission? No. Does it crank over? No. Is it all wired up? Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. Let's just dive into it. So let's break it down. We can get like a total of how much I've spent on this car per se. Per se. So the intake right here. It's 40 bucks. Comes from China. Um, the belt without power steering, $50. Who's making these prices? Not me. Uh, the wiring, spent 100 bucks on just wiring. Comes from China. It costs, uh, the wiring costs almost as much as the motor. Uh, the motor, when I bought the motor, it was 500 bucks. Uh, valve cover gaskets were 20. Spark plug wires. $40. Comes from China. $40. Spark plugs? $30. This is just blowing my mind. These headers, these speed engineering headers, I'll show you them. $400. I make bad financial decisions. $400. Wiring harness. Cheap eBay one. 150. Comes from China. But I had to buy adapters, 20 bucks. Oil pan, 200 bucks. Fuel pump and fuel filter was 120. Gas lines, it's $20 for 10 foot. It is expensive. Throttle cable, I think this was 28 bucks. Wasn't too much. Uh, fuel filters, they're 10 bucks each. These are the glass ones, so it's not like the one I got, it's glass. Uh, we got distribution blocks. This hose down here for the radiator, just the lower hose, 40 bucks. I know, it's crazy. I thought LS swaps were supposed to be cheap. No, no they are not. No, they're not. I'm all out of money! You know what's cheaper? Buy one that's already done, because doing it is not cheap. We had to change the oil because we had to take the oil pan off, so we had to change the oil. That was forty dollars. The icy billet motor mounts were forty bucks. Do I throw the spray paint cost in there? I mean, it cost me twenty bucks for spray paint. You know, these gas lines, these clamps, they're ten dollars for ten of them. Ridiculous. And I bought thirty. It's like grabbing a stack of cash. Going on the highway and just cruising and rolling when I'm just throwing it out the window. Starter went out because I was taking it off 
and I had I was ratcheting it, taking it off, and they're like, oh, you gotta take the power cable off. I'm like, ah, watch this, I'll steeze it. I welded my ratchet to the motor mount because of the power. It grounded out. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. The computer was 250. The switches for the fuel pump was 20 bucks. All right, guys, look at this. So, coil packs I painted, spark plug wires. Got the exhaust on. I had to beat this one. Science, you know. Bop, 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 old Tanya Harding. To get it to fit. I don't know why it didn't fit. It was specifically made for this car. How that stuff goes. But it is in. Chilling. Looking like a beast. Uh, here's how we ran the gas lines. So we ran them down. Straight down here. I know you guys can't see. I'm going to go ahead and click them up to the firewall. So... It won't be in the way of nothing. Okay, I jumped into this. I was like, oh, LS swaps look so easy on YouTube. They're not. They're absolutely not. As you can see, it is a cluster right now. It does not look good. Still need radiator fans. Just fill up the radiator. I gotta do a bunch of stuff to this thing still. Let's go ahead and go down below and look at what's going on there. You guys are gonna hate me, but I put some new IROX on. Got tired of the old ones, so I put these ones on. Bling blow. Alright guys, if you go ahead and bust your knees and get underneath the car like I am doing now and I fell over. Send help. Someone, please. Oh my god. Oh. <clears throat> Russ is getting in my mouth. Alright, now after I just ate 40 pounds of rust, as you can see, we got a new oil pan. There's the exhaust, exhaust, bad starter. Now if we come over here. As you can see, it hits the exhaust right there. So I had to beat this one senseless. Uh, get that to fit. Oil pan. It's a 302A, I believe. Don't get me on that, but there's the oil filter that you need for it if you guys are doing this yourself. This is a 4L60, 4L80 flywheel. We're going to take this off. We're going to get one that can do a 700 or th 350 slash TH400 because we have a 350 to put in here. The good thing is, is I have a 700R4 core that if that 350 goes out, we can also put on the 700. Here's the gas lines. This is the end, this is the return. And you can see how it's ran. It's not the prettiest, but it's not done yet. Now, if we go over here, here's the empty doghouse. That's where I'm gonna be. Uh, fuel filter, fuel pump. And it's all ran. You got wires. It's dangling. Don't, don't, don't judge me. I'm trying. Now I'm realizing that I gotta take this off and I did all that flaring for nothing because I'm just gonna run from the filter to the filter, put a filter on here to the filter. So I did a lot of flaring for nothing, which it's fine. It's, it's K, you know, everything's fine. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. You know, life is not on fire right now. Everything is fine. But these lines have yeed their last haul. They're coming out. Boss is still in. I gotta get the old... Old catalytic Steeler 5000 and cut this out. Uh, drive shaft, it's, it's somewhere. It's right here. Is it gonna be doing drive shaft things anytime soon? No. Trans mount. They're going to be doing trans stuff soon? No. Why? Money. Let's get up into the cab. Because that's where it's nicer. It's nasty. And there's spiders down here. Well, after eating a bunch of rust, we're back up here. We're going to go ahead and hop into the car. We open it and my battery's dead. Who would have guessed? Who would have thought? Not me. This is our computer. We got to rig that up. Get it out the way. Fuses, all the good stuff. Just wiring is not my forte. As you can see, uh, I did a little Bernie burn on this because I'm not like a professional. Plan is is for it to go in here and then like do like a little Batmobile flip, click, 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 and then it starts the car. But that's the cab. Let's get out of there, because that's mom's spaghetti. Oh, a lot of content coming out. Just going to make this video quick. What's been going on with the Camaro? 
LSWAP. How it's doing? That's gonna be all for today. This was just a little quick up video. We're gonna have some Camaro videos coming. We're gonna have the other project coming. We're gonna have the other paint video coming. Stay tuned for all that. I miss you guys. I miss doing these videos. Like the video, subscribe.